Hi, my name is Michelle Alva, creator of the Alva Love Method, and I am here to share with you three powerful ways to process and flow your emotions. That's right. Do you take time to feel on a daily basis what's lurking inside? Sometimes it manifests as tightness in your chest. Are you ever feeling tightness in your tummy? or maybe your shoulders or your jaw are holding a lot of tension. Did you know that your thoughts create your beliefs and those create emotions? And a lot of times we don't make the time to flush our emotional toilet, okay? This is the truth. We're walking around carrying baggage from the past. If you run into an ex-boyfriend, let's just say, and your whole body starts to freeze and you want to run away and go hide somewhere, that's a sign that you're holding something inside yourself. And we actually keep attracting whatever it is that we're holding inside. So it's really important to make the time to process and flow so that you actually get to bring into your life new. Bring into your life new opportunities, new relationships. So step number one to processing and flowing your emotions is to make time in your day to simply be with yourself and connect to your breath, your diaphragm. Right here you have a dome-shaped muscle and it's the primary muscle of inspiration that so many of us are breathing primarily from our upper chest. Do you ever feel your shoulders when you're breathing in and taking a deep breath or lifting up? Runners tend to be more upper chest breathers also, and that's a sign that you're in a stress response more than in a zen, peaceful relaxation response, which if you're under chronic stress, most likely you're breathing more with an upper chest pattern. So there's a video that I have that teaches you the E3 breath. So message me if you wanna learn how to breathe with your diaphragm, and I would love to share that private video with you, okay? Step two is to be honest with what you're feeling and be open and willing to actually feeling what's really there. I know for me, I was avoiding feeling the truth of what I was truly feeling deep inside because I wasn't really happy for so many years and I was lying to myself. And I know a lot of us are doing this. Have you ever heard of the word being inauthentic? And then nobody really trusts you because they don't even know who you are because you don't really know who you are because you've been living based on the past or maybe a people pleaser. Have you ever been a people pleaser? Or you don't wanna make other people upset because you may not wanna go with what they wanna do. And then you give yourself up so that you can make other people happy. Well, this is a way to definitely stifle your emotions and feel so much heaviness on your shoulders. I'm totally speaking about my own self-experience doing this because I thought that I had to get love from the outside. I thought that I had to be loved in order to feel good about myself. So I was a people pleaser, doing things, saying yes to things that I really didn't want to do and not even asking myself if I really wanted to do those things. So step two to process your emotions is please feel what's really there and make time to actually ask yourself, what do I feel? What do I actually feel? Am I excited about what I'm about to do right now? Or do I feel the burden coming upon me? Or do I feel like I'm, I'm acting nice to someone because I really feel lonely inside and I just want to be loved? So how do you really, truly feel? Do you love the person that you're dating? Are you really excited about them? Do you love your husband or your wife? Are you really excited about your job? Do you love waking up in the morning to go to work? What do you really, really, really feel? That's step two. And then step three is to invite acceptance into everything that you feel. What if you could accept that maybe you don't love your job? What if you could accept that maybe you're not so excited about your weight? What if you could accept that you've been putting yourself last on the list? And you could just begin with acceptance as step number three and start to just say, I accept that. I accept that too. I accept that my car needs to get fixed. I accept that I'm a little overweight. I accept that 
maybe I'm staying in a relationship for six years or more that I'm really not that excited about. I accept that right now things are not exactly how I wish I thought they would be by this time. And just start to bring that word more into your life. I accept that. I accept that. Let's say that together, okay? And let's close our eyes and just say, I accept myself. And I like to do this opening up the body because it just opens us up to being more accepting. By opening up the body, you're actually opening up to that possibility more. Rather than saying, I accept that and doing it like this, your body's actually helping you. So you say, I accept that. So just take a moment, close your eyes and ask yourself, is there something that I'm resisting in my life about myself? How do I feel about myself? Am I accepting about myself or am I hard on myself? And where am I not accepting myself the most? And then you can just say, I choose to accept myself now. I choose to accept myself now. I'm willing to accept myself now. I'm willing to accept myself now. I am open to accepting myself now. I am open. And you could do this with your body because guess what? Your subconscious programs, your mind is actually in your body. So when we reframe the subconscious mind, it behooves us to actually change our posture. So I give myself permission to accept myself now. I am opening up to accepting myself more in my life now. I am becoming, as of right now in this split second, more accepting. And I am welcoming and inviting into my life a more accepting version of myself. And then you're just going to say, I am so grateful that I'm open to accepting myself now. And close your eyes and you're going to imagine right now, if you choose to accept, what would it feel like if I already accepted myself 100% of the time? Can you imagine what that would feel like if you could imagine what that would feel like? What would that feel like if I could imagine that it would feel possible for me to accept myself? regardless of whether your parents accept you or your friends or your family or your ex, can you invite the feeling in to your mind, into your body? Are you willing to? You could say, yes! You can message me back a comment, yes! So just to wrap up what we've done, we've been talking about how to process emotions and the first step of it all is to acknowledge what you're feeling. What are you really, truly feeling? Definitely accept yourself, okay? This is so important. And embrace whatever it is that you're going through as a gift and a blessing. And make sure to bring into your body also that posture, that open posture that you're gonna be more in a flowing way because a lot of times we are not even aware that we're holding on to the past. So processing your emotions, they're in your body tissues, it's so important. And just making the time. So that that's another way is to just actually decide I'm going to have time in my day today to process and flush my emotions rather than just go, 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 go. So if you really enjoyed this video, message me because I would love to know how it benefits you. When you're at work, are you telling yourself you accept yourself? When you're with your parents or in your relationships, are you keep telling yourself this? Are you making the time to accept yourself? And then are you acknowledging that your feelings matter more in your life? Because if you are, then I'm so grateful that you got to benefit from this video. So make sure to like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, share it with everybody you know that would benefit from accepting themselves more. And go to my website, michellealva.com, if you want to learn more about this awesome Alva Love approach. It's all about living with life, dancing in love with life, rather than fighting life and fighting ourselves, which I used to be doing all my, you know, most of my life. That's why I have like a lot, I could get a PhD in this, okay? Because you can really transform your life.
and there's different key strategies to do this. And I'm here to serve and I'm so excited to share with you what actually works that is science based and a lot of fun. So thank you so much for being on my channel and write to me. Let me know what are the topics you want me to share and go to my website michellealva.com and you can download a free meditation right now to start you in that process of deeper healing, deeper empowerment and getting those results that you really want in your life. So thank you so much. Have an awesome day.